sponsored by the I am Mold Awards, and this is Lords of the Fallen once again. In the last episode, we made our way to that very first beacon that needs to be cleansed over there, but we were denied by the thing that guards it. The Hushed Saint. A big old knight on horseback with a big spear and shield and commands tree roots and stuff. He pushed us away. He made us regret every decision we ever made. And I realized that summoning isn't the way to go here. Now then, just get off your horse. We don't need you galloping around in here. We don't play that round here, son. We just... Yep. We... Yep. You are... Okay. Now, we good, we good, and your tree root slam, I don't need any of that happening. There we are, just fine. And now that I'm looking at his health more closely, I'm not entirely certain that summoning actually did give him more health. Either way, I'm here by myself now. I ain't got no summons this time, but I am ready to kick your ass in a better fashion than I've been trying to do in the past couple attempts of the previous episode. And no, you're not sticking me on your spear like that. Not this time. Just come on, you dingleberry. Uh, where are you going again? You just can't stay out of the ground, can you? He's a real groundy kind of person. He likes the dirt. He loves the feeling of dirt all over his insidey parts. Now let's see if I can't pick up this zero vigor I left behind. And, okay, there you go. Now eat some shit. Put that inside of your mouth and then you will die and I won't get hit because you're the one getting killed here. Now your stabs, those ain't very accurate. That ain't hitting me, mister. Just, okay, there you go, your big wider swings of that halberd of yours. Those are a much bigger threat than your little pokey bits. And you have to try to beat yourself up. I pushed you to the to the next phase. And now you're trying to throw your horse at me. You just love throwing ye noble steed. Yep, that's a big boy jumping out of the mud. Come on, mister. And, oh, my timing was not ideal there. I took a hit, but it's fine. It's the first real hit I've taken all battle. Now, come on. Yep, that's a shield swing, and... Okay. All right, now s just slap him. There you go. Fantastic. I, I think your ass might just be grass, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You're still very much alive. We gotta be certain of your defeat before I go talking that shit. Now, okay, there you are, getting ready to launch that horse at me again. A big horse shooting some bitch. Now, there you are, trying to just ambush me. But no, sir, not happening. I'm wise to your shenanigans now. Yep, what just happened? I don't... You moved in a very weird fashion that I wasn't expecting. Now, come on, suck the blade. My big old divine lightsaber. Owie! Right as I'm trying to heal. Really? Right in front of my sanguinarix. Now, stick myself with that. I really shouldn't have done that. I had some of that withered health I could have got back by slapping him, but I just simply did not think. Oh boy, here comes that horse launching again. Now I'm looking for you. Okay. Now, 
come on, son. Oh, you're going in the ground again. You just can't stay out of that damn swamp, can you? You and your swampy bullshit. Ow, oh, that's a shield. That is also a shield that I was not ready to dodge. Okay, quit swinging at me while I'm trying to heal and stuff. Okay, we're, we're back in the proper mindset. Now just, that's a shield, and okay, just, okay, you're swinging at all the bad times, get up, damn it, now, gotcha, there we go, heresy purged, the hushed saint is slain, and we are free to cleanse this beacon. He won't be stopping us anymore. Also, we got this stigma here. What's going on here? What happened to you? In death, may you continue to shine as the radiant paragon you are in life. And may your dedication to our cause be remembered evermore. So, yeah. That was Latimer, the Hushed Saint. Now, let's go ahead and cleanse this some bitch. The cleansing of the beacon. Fix it to where a deer don't get out of his imprisonment. And by the power of this lamp, Ain't no more redness happening here. And... Yeah, let's just let the moths do their thing. There we go. The red has been turned into a brilliant gold. And the crazy ass evil of a deer has been cleansed of this beacon. Well, all right. One beacon cleansed, three more to go. I'm tired of being all umbral and stuff. There we go. Much better. Now, how do I get out of here without planting the one vestige seed I have and teleporting out? I don't think I can leave the way that I came in. Because I... Or maybe I can. That might have just been a straight path instead of just a drop. Yeah. I can leave the way I came in. The fuck was I thinking? You weren't here before. Also, this isn't the way I came in from. So, yeah, maybe you are supposed to be here and I'm just losing my mind because of the way things are working. Anyway, I'm gonna bring my endurance up some. More stamina, higher equipment load, give me a nice rest so I can restore all of my thingamabobbers. Any second now. Loading takes time. I intended to see if the ones who inhabit this swamp might be potential customers, but uh, they seem quite focused on heads, including yep. the removal of them. Yes. So I thought it best to keep my distance in case they took a liking to mine. Uh, not that many ever have with this face, huh? Yeah, it's better to stay alive than to get killed by a bunch of crazy plague beak wearing sons of bitches. It's an odd light that burns in your lamp, friend. Of you course, don't say. In the darkest moments, the only light you ever really need is the light of Aureus. He watches mm. over his followers. He just does so in curious ways sometimes, that's all. Yeah. So what you selling? Hello again, friend. So yeah, you got your daggers, your mace, spears... And some duralium fragments, which I probably should buy. I'm pretty sure I need some more of these little guys here. How much money do I have? 
I think I I see up there in the corner. Okay, I'm if I'm reading that right, then I have a thousand fifty-two, and I, which would be enough to buy two of these. Yes, now I'm down to 52, so the 2,961 is how much I need for a level. Understood. Now, real quick, I'm gonna see about... I don't even know which butcher, which vestige this, this is. This is the Pale Butcher. So if I were to go back to the Forsaken Fen... I would assume that it doesn't list the one I'm sitting at in the teleport menu. So, the reason I'm going back here is because in the last episode I mentioned that there's a side path here somewhere with a bunch of those holy bulwark guys. I think... I distinctly remember it being accessible through this... near this first vestige in the poison swamp area. <laughs> So, if I can figure out exactly how to get there, I'd be able to farm those guys for their armor, which is which would definitely be better than what I'm wearing. But I don't remember exactly how I would get there. Huh. And now that I'm actually here and talking and actually trying to do it, I feel much less of a desire to actually do it. I'm losing my drive here, son. You're making me lose my drive, you headless, ugly sons of bitches. Always up in my business like that. Eh, roll through the nasty ass swamp. There are, of course, things I didn't grab along the way here. Some few items. And yeah, this was the broken ass bridge. Now, yeah, I'm feeling less and less like actually doing this. So, didn't mean to rest, I just wanted to warp. Well, whatever, it'll reset the guys that were lumbering towards me. Now, this way is a different stretch of the place. So, yeah, somebody got killed here. I could avenge him, but I don't feel like making things even harder on myself. And mayhaps the only way forward is to go all umbral and trudge down through that swamp. Really seeming like that. Anyway, let's uh, fix you real quick. And down through the swampy goodness we go if I could not get stuck on trees. Okay. And kick the little plank down. Nice. Now we don't gotta go umbral anymore just to get across here. Anywho. I am here. I am umbral. I found some duralium fragments, and you just stabbed me through a fucking barrel. You gotta learn to not go stabbing people every time you see them. That is just the worst kind of thing you could ever do with your life. Not sure why you would choose to do that, but you do. Now let me out of here. Feels good to be back in flesh and bone. I never did like being a ghost. Anyway, I don't remember exactly which way leads where out here. But I... I also don't know nothing. That's all there is to it. Stupid ass gate, you don't exist in ghost town. I'm just blundering around in this place, hoping that it leads me somewhere. I know there's a key that I need to find that opens that gate with the bell on it back in Pilgrim's Perch. You go down there, ladder. Down into the murky depths. Anyway, there's a key for a gate with a bell on it back in Pilgrim's Perch, and that leads us to another area that'll get us to another beacon. And I'm... Now that I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure 
there's another area that we're about to be funneled into at the end of this section here. And, yep. Yeesh. Owie, you went and hit me. Why you go hit me like that? And there's people in the, that are just interrupting me in the process of killing that guy. You gotta not do that. Just quit doing all the things you do. There you go, mister. That's the ticket right there. You don't need to go hitting me ever again. And you're here, Mr. Plague Doctor. With you with your being able to tank through my heavy attacks and then push me. At least your pushes don't do no damage. He just... Eh, instead of just slugging me with a, with a clenched fist. Now, this is a path. A path we have not yet traveled. And there's something here. Okay, yep. Two different kinds of enemies fighting each other. Alright. Yep, I'm starting to think we're on the right path here. That's a different kind of enemy. Oh, that's a treasure chest. What have we here? Pendant of Burden. What in God's name does that do? That's a ring slot, pendant of burden, incorporating several claws and a small mossy skull. Deal additional damage for every status effect inflicted upon enemy. That sounds nice. But I also don't go building up too much status effects. This sword I got builds up that thing where a bolt of light just smites them from above. You've seen it happen to those guys, those weird spear-wielding dudes that were dancing around the fire here. It, it just does a burst of damage outright. I'm not sure if, you would, if that would count towards it. I mean, it does build up a status, but it, I'm not sure if the pendant like goes off of statuses that happen immediately and then stop being in effect, or if it's... A status that needs to stick to them, like poison. Something that stays in effect. Either way, I ain't putting that thing on. I like the pendant I'm wearing as it is, even though I don't remember exactly what it is. I might be poisoned, but at least this room is safe now. I really wish I wasn't poisoned, though. This room was not worth being in. It was completely empty. Just a hole full of guys. That's all it was and all it will ever be. And now I'm thinking this might be looping back around toward the start of this place. God damn. Well, that's some unsettling sounds I be hearing. So this gate exists even in Umbral. That's not gonna be easy to get across. Is anyone else gonna try and kill me? Anybody? If somebody were to jump out at me, then I would know I'm heading in the right direction. Yep, there's more of these guys. We haven't explored around here yet, that's for damn sure. So, what about this side? Yeah, no getting through there. There's an item in there that is just sitting there, taunting me, making me really want to get in there. But it's... I'm not being able to find a way. Panoptic ring. What does that do? Also, what does this do? Maximum health. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that. And this raises inferno and radiance app attributes sure why not this sword goes off of radiance so couldn't hurt to have it if now oh is this that item there wait a damn second notice how that item is pulsing and the thing on it is swirling around that's not an item this is how this game handles mimics so if you soul flay that that giant moth thing dies, but if you try to pick it up, 
That giant fucking moth just grabs you and chomps down on your head. Sending you straight into Umbral. And if you were an Umbral, it would still do a shitload of damage. And assuming you survive, well, you're just there with less health than you had before. It's an interesting way of doing the whole mimic thing. To say the least. A, th a thing that I had trouble seeing through the first time through the game. But I have learned. I have grown stronger, smarter, better, handsomer. Jesus Christ, my face cam is super bright right now. Hold on a minute. Come on, you auto white balanced piece of shit. Start kicking it. Usually when I lower my head like this, it just... If I, like... Do some like put my hand up against there and then the well maybe that's better at least it's not blinding there have been a few times where my the auto white balance for my face cam just turns like stark white just n pure bright blinding white just yeesh and I kind of lost track of where I am. I know I'm still in this hamlet, but... Hmm... Herm... I guess through cave? Okay, yeah, this looks nice. This looks right. We got another gate. Fitzroy's Gorge map, you say? So I think we are heading in the right way. We just gotta... Umbral our way through this gate, which we will do in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope to see you again in the next one. God, bye.